clothed in, in glory. He is clothed in greatness. He will live forevermore. Amen. Amen. Welcome, welcome yet again in the presence of God in the glory of your Father. May God bless you. May He strengthen you. Let us clap for Him and applaud Him. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are with servants of God, Dr. Bizoza. Welcome. Pastor Vaingana and Madam Kanengwa, Bishop Leonard and David, welcome. From the United States of America. They are servants of God. We partner together in the work of God. We are with, with, with our brother Patrick and the wife Rachel. Welcome from, Zion, from Brussels, but they work in Paris. And our sister Alice from Brussels. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Yes, Praise Jesus. Are you well, people of God? Welcome in the house of your Father. And all our other guests, we believe that you were received oh. earlier on. Nyiringwa <laughs> and Claudette and the children, you're welcome. Siku mingi san. It's been a while. Claudette, siku mingi. Eh? Ari kore wafasha gatai chani. Wari yiki Claudette. Nanje? Eh? Ugo wanyo hereje muri WhatsApp. Ugo toko. Eh? Kwa taye tuko mbibiru. Welcome. May God bless you. Amen. We are grateful and thank God to see you. Welcome in the house of your father. Let me ask a question. Did I lose, did I lose weight? Is it true? Hallelujah. Amen. Our God is good. <laughs> Amen. May the Lord be praised. We are it's not by might nor by power. I do know Jim, I do not on a diet. It's only by the grace of God. This is how Oh yeah. Let me leave that. You have made me grow up. Zion in Zion will make you grow by force. This is such a church. It tests you and pushes you to grow. <laughs> okay. I believe Dr. Buramba has already briefed you about our university. Brethren. University this university is like a stew brought before you and you're very hungry on a tray please eat it 
kuhera kuri certificate ni barageje mu mwaka wa gatatu wa segonde uziga bagwe certificate wongere andi mashuri ubone diploma wongereho ubone lisans wongereho ubone matrix wongereho ube dokite kandi bibere ya hawicha if you finished your third year of high school that is enough you will get a certificate then you study more and you get a diploma then you study more you get a bachelor's you study more a master's and finally a phd when you're seated right here in that university nazo namubwiye nabagabo barebe ikindi kiri munsi ya certificate bazabaganirize babakuze yari yanyemereye ko bazashyiraho amakuru amwe y'icyongereza ni France kuko université bazaba biga muri zone d'imizombi anglais français on va étudier en français we will learn in english do you get me now est-ce que vous me suivez voilà so I had request Dr. Bulambo because the third year of high school is the minimum requirement, but we have requested that they customize courses to help people who are below the third year of high school to be able to get to the level where they can be part of that university. We'll be learning in both French and in English, so you need to understand either one of them. <laughs> ikikiro cyamere ni kirangira tuzaba turangije ku musozi wa famille wa education wa business na na religion deje uzaba ya misozo maze kuyimenya kuyimetiriza umuryo wa ihagarara so it's not just about theology by the time we first we finish the first section of the studies you'll have mastered or learned things under the family mountain education and business and religion Babwire Zion Temple icari kitwikirie cyavuye ukwirazamuka nk'umwambi ubu Simbabeshe Simbabeshe Zion Temple is now moving like an arrow you it's going to move at a very fast rate from now on Actually the covering was removed now we can go higher like an arrow we shoot the arrow Amen to the space we will shoot the arrow high let me tell you the truth the time to joke around and waste time is over eh, never it is done a pastor if you are an evangelist a deacon a, a, an usher in zion temple you need to attend this university we are not going to work with people anymore that are not learned we've had too many problems with people like that unless you have gone through this university because it is a major requirement i know you might hate me but understand that it's difficult to hate me because i'm part of your dna i'm like salt in you in your source i'm like salt in your source <laughs> i'm like a sugar in your tea or coffee ndinko nkisukari mu chai chanyu cyangwa kafe Nuba onete if you muri biography yawe harawe uzanseseka ndimo tu haba mu rugo haba ku ishuri haba haba mu kazi yewe nabanyanga harahantu ndimo if you're honest in your biographies you will find me somewhere appearing having had an impact be it in your life in your family or in your workplace uniko bimeze that is how it is That is how it is. So servants of God. 
When you are in something that you did not attain knowledge for, Akorana. you don't perform well. Dr. Bulambo talked about a word that touched me in the morning. I don't know if he repeated it again. He said that a doctor in medicine and theology are the professions that you don't play around with. Tugomba kuiga 
ibintu nkuye muri iri somo y'ibyago naciye mu byinshi nabanye nabantu batigi ibyo barimo kwi kuba mu bintu tigi ushaka gusa numu tishoko simvuze ko batize theology atari abakoze b'Imana ariko bagera ahantu bananiye c'est comme ça la théologie sans la prière c'est l'idéologie la prière sans théologie c'est hérésie amasenge chatari mo théologie uragenduka ngo hantu kitiranye bya shitani bitari bya shitani ibintu kabifata ukundi guko ibintu byose ni mu muka inanone kandi kugira théologie na udasenge na wa muri idéologie muri wo bihinduka philosophe ariko mbabwire branche zose kwisi zatangiye mathematique biologie bindi philosophie zavuye muri théologie zose nyina nyina wa ma branche yose scientifique c'est la théologie iyo uri umuthéologue wumva branche zi abantu bashobora kugira ngo bari abarize no twazanye nawe certificate zi twaza gricho wireguza twazanye diplôme zi twazanye maîtrise zi twazanye docteur zi kandi twabikwe ahandi doktora doktora na mafaranga ngahe kwisi ku mwaka gura ngo wige doktora ni menshi ibihumbi 1500 na bitano bya madola kwayibazanye ku bihumbi bitatu kandi iri accredite muri etazi ni hose ni mwe tubibakore turagenda tugahakwa kugira ngo tube ukiga ukadistinga ukaba impression abaranda ko impression ngo dukore ri ndashaka university iwa Urabzumvane ibyo byose umuntu abapfa kugira ngo abantu bajijuke nta nyungu specific umuntu abifitemo doktore ibihumbi bitatu umwaka wose maîtrise ibihumbi igihumbi igihumbi ni jana maîtrise wayibonaye naha mu Rwanda kandi yo maîtrise ni equivalent ku isi yose anga mu ma ministere wose ubona kazi ariko rero iri mu vrai théologue ndushaba kazi uhimba kazi This university is going to be very affordable. It is you never get a PhD in theology anywhere in the world at $3000 or a bachelor's or master's degree at $1100. dollars so it is very affordable and it is recognized internationally it is a requirement that we all attend and most importantly we need to avoid three things in life never lie never covert or desire things that are not yours and never be jealous that that is very key to professionals of theology and professionals in the medicine That's domain in, in the life and it is important for everyone in life umuntu nakubeshuka bidekuvura uzamubabarira ubwambere nakubeshugwa kabiri uzamubwiye ngo nubwanyuma nakubeshugwa gatatu uzamukureye ikize if icha ubwambere uzamubabarira ubwa kabiri uzamuha avertisse ma yanyu ubwa gatatu uzamubwiye ngo birarangi nubwo yabo umugore wa nubwo yabo umugabo wa Whenever a person lies to you the first time forgive them when they lie to you the second time give them the last warning when they do the third time you say i'm done with you don't have any patience with liars because living with liars is living with lucifer himself umuntu umugabo uhimba ikinyoma umugabo umugabo akicara numugore nabana kumeza aziko yahimza ariko akarya kamira ateye ubwo a man with a wife and children sits around the table and eats after lying a naked lie and they are confident without any fear that man should be feared liars should be feared murabizi reka twige ijambo ry'Imana tuzamenya ukuri kudukure mu binyoma nibindi bya zo twige ijambo rya Hallelujah Let's learn the word of God from it we learn the truth and we will be free from everything Ayo mashuri na yanyu mwo kabyaramwe muze muyike These courses this university is for you come and attend Ndabasaba muri Zion temple mwige I'm begging you as people of Zion please 
study. I thank God from the start of this church. I always encourage you to study. And many went to school. They finished university. We have doctors here. They had stopped their education thinking it was not possible to continue. Morning and evening. I would encourage them to go back to school. God will never ask me such a thing when we get to heaven. Because I encourage them to study. Even me. I want to continue studying. I'm still looking for what to study. Why? When the head is not filled with sensible things, then you have foolish things in your head. You have to keep training your mind and filling it with the right information and knowledge because when you don't do so, it becomes static and anything that comes goes with you. When you go, when you go please if you are planning to study don't announce it to anybody publicly keep it to yourself and study because we have many jealous people the moment they know that you're studying you're starting to study they will go to sorcerers they will do all kinds of things to hinder you from progressing with your studies amen amen I know many of us are very spiritual and can't wait for us to get into the word, but what we are talking about is values. They are foundations before we get into the spirit. As I conclude, I would like to thank you for your sacrifice and support for the Africa Rise Conference. Praise God. You did great things. This Africa Rise Conference was above all the others. Bien organisé. Very organized. Bien structuré. Very structured, well structured. Bien aplani. Well planned. Bien spirituel. It was spiritually structured and done well. Can be bien financé. And it was financed well. Vraiment, je suis fier de vous. I'm proud of you. Mosi mavu. You know why? Nabonye email makumyabiri ejo. I received about 20 emails the other day from different people. They says,
narabeshetse none ndabe ndagarutse mu muri rezo ngirende ndamubwira yazane nti yazaburi bisigasiga byasigaye eh haraba afite ma pledge yabo mwa pledge inze tutegereje ko murangiza pledge kugira ngo DJ Mari muyemeje izi ama hoteli bayaduhera kuri kuri credit bakaduha transport kuma credit tugenda tuzishura ari kubumba bwire nta kibazo mu byo kuri dufite gusa uwa pledge inze yishure ibyo yavuze abo rero bagiye babuza abantu umwe mu rwandiko ya ya yanditse muri izo nagiye nkora uturezime yaravuze aravuga ngo none ntabwo nabashe kwitanga ariko naritanze ntabwo nabashe kwitanga muri Afrika guruka ariko niyemeje kwitanga atari ko ikibazo mfite fita abantu bambuza amahoro bambwira buri munsi ngo uracakora iki muri Zion Temple ngo barantoteje cyane bambuje amahoro none usenge ndamwandikira ndamubaza bari arambira ngo bamwe turi kuba muri Zion abandi bari hanze ndamubwira ngo babwire ngo bo abanze bayivemo mbere yuko yiva mu baraza kwikora mwiki kubera iki mvuze ibi bintu ndabizi ko byenda mutabyumva neza ariko reka mbabwire hari abantu bashinzwe kuza mu rusengero kubwira abane ngo uracyakora mu iki ariko kuwa kabiri akaba yicaye hari kuwa kana akaba yicaye hari kuwa gatana akaba yicaye akora iki ashaka kurya ibyo gitwaza yatetse mu mwuka ni gute wowe udakunda umuntu ari bwo ashaka kurya ibye ubwo si ubusamba wana ikindi ubwo si ubushu ngewe mu byo kuri kwimana nta kwiyumvishemo sinakumva nibya kabisa je pa urankuri kiriki kuri radio no kuri mudaso gutanku wayivuye wayivuye it's very simple kuko nje gucyo ushaka ko kugaburira ibyo umwuka ariko ntunkunde ugira ngo imana izabyumva se kuratakaza umwanya wawe ubuse ni umva ngo gitwaza avuze simya radio na uratakaza umwanya wawe nta mugisha ubonamo kandi nta kintu kizukuramo kubera iki uranyanze ari ugashaka ibimvamo warangi zukaza kubwira abantu ngo bave muri Zion ni we wicayemo uva mabwire rero maze kubona izo nzandiko naziretse imbere y'Imana ndabarega nagiye kurega abantu imbere y'Imana kandi sinkunze kurega ariko iri joro naregaye maze kuregana dore iki Imana yambwiye nico ngiye kubabwira Imana yambwiye ngo ugende ubwire abo bantu baza kwirigwa barogaba bababwira ngo uracyakora iki uri mu biki ngo babwire ngo bahagarika ibyo bintu niba batabihagaritse bagiye kwinjira muri seri y'imyaka 7 y'ibyago n'amakuba y'ubuzima bwa uhereye none wumvishira ijambo we wumvurikira na ura uhereye uyu munsi ugiye kwinjira imyaka 7 buri mwaka uzawugira mu ibyago wa kabiri mu ibyago kugeza ku mwaka wa karindwi bizakubita ubugingo niba byakubabariye ku mwaka wa kabiri no gatatu ibyo ni by'Imana yangu niba uzanwa ha no kwirigugumura abantu utuka abantu usenya abantu usebya abantu untuka Imana yarabihoreye ariko yambaye uburenganzira ngo nde kuri iryo jambo ku muhanuzi w'iki gihugu kandi nde kuri iryo jambo kintumwe yatumwe ni Imana umuntu uzongera gusebya umuntu ashaka kumubwira ngo avaye muri Zayo kuva uyu munsi da decrese bizina rya Yesu imyaka 7 y'ibyago itangire mu buzima je décrète sept ans de malheur imyaka 7 ni budashaka rero ko bizagufata va ha weekend ukabuzi ko wica yarukuza none no kwiri gupinga uhigima wimyoza uzakubitwa nibya sohoka ibisi ibinda bibabwiye nko baburira nko muhanuzi kuko nta kimana ngo izakora itarabanza kubibwira abahanuzi ibindi bibabwiye nkimburo kandi yanyuma kuze wiri gushushya izindebe uhigima akabaye ko atanye sohoka ibindi bibabwiye nko mubyeyi umuhanuzi ubye one avec vous ou on n'est pas avec vous turi kumwe cyangwa ndi turi kumwe niba turi kumwe tuze 
Imani ni bawa meyoku hindu ka ichara muri onte bufashwe uneze rikwe imani bumbuji. Ari kuni buta ritayari singu ifurizi mnyak hindu ibza kuvu yumu sile says ubwa wari wabuze ngonzaba na apfuye cyangwa se mfunzwe kuvu uyu munsi nibo bigaruka ibi murabibona zamenya ko imana gitwaza ngore atari imana ya maga ari imana yuko ibi mbabwi muragenda mubona maseri ya masuccession yibazo mu buzima bwaba umuntu utihana agakomeza ntwaye muri kinyo ngo naramwize ngaho nibye nyina ntacyo nibye imana ibizi ko nacyo nibye tanzu yabo namenye banyisi gisambo ntaricyo imana yambwiye ngo mbabwire mugiye kubona imana nkorera nyitungana imbere yayo yabamaraye nimbere yiritore izi ko ntibye nigiceri muri urusenge ndikabye no kwikaba kuvuga ngo amprete kuza muri muri ministre muri muri trésorier ngo mbavuye ngo munkabe sindakaba urufaranga muri ritore ngaba bose bara niba narabikoze imana izabimpanye mabwire rero uyu munsi naracecetse ariko ndababwira by'imana ya sohori yo jha ukiranuka kiranuka ukiranuka kiranuka uko niko bimeze ukumva turakomezanya nawe mu muhamagaro icaraha kwigisha ujikanana ubona amasezerano yawe tuzahurire mu ijuru uko nico nahamagari ukabona bigushimishije welcome iyi ni inzu yawe wicare wumva uri confident muri zayo se che toi wi utete nk'abandi bantu uteri migeri woge uruke mu nzima ni wawe se che toi uneze hari kwa pana kuba mu nzu uri mu kirungurira buri munsi kirungurira ikirungurira cyama ya kurukira hano kuko iyi nzu ni nzu y'abana banyirayo babogeramo abana bishimiramo abana se kwa se sa icyo nico mbifuri sinzu ya matiku kwiriwe uracyakora iki ubu uracyakora iki waratanze muri Afrika aguruka bonde kwendo keba nanze kugira ngo ibintu mutazabibona bibigiye kuba muvuge ngo ntacyo yavuze imana igiye kwinjira mu mago yaba ihere mu cyumba ikora inspection ije mu matungo yabo ije mu buzima bwabo niho izarangiza ariko wito uwishimira uyu muri aka usengere namwe mwitanze mugiye kwinjira mu myaka 7 y'uburumbuke mugiye kubibona na ubuzima bwanyu bugiye buri munsi kuba kubatangaza mubona ibyimana ibikora buri munsi mugiye kwinjira mu bihe muzatangazwa ni imyaka 7 kuva none iri imbere yawe uzayibona mu bintu tigeze uyibona muranye uva neza bwo ko bw'Imana ero wari itanze witangi y'Imana wara pledginze urangize gahunda zawe zose ibyo wumvikanye n'Imana ubitimize ubikore hanyuma wirebe Imana izagukorera ibikomeye amen amen muri resume reka tuje mu ijambo nagira ngo ako kanu mbabwire mbere yuko mvuga iki imana yashize ku mutima ibyo nibyo yarayimbwiye mu ijoro ndimo strago ringa ndwana nayo nayi nayishiri ibirego pfuka menyereka ibirego irambuye ati nibyo ati yaguruka nkwere nayi narinze kureka najya gimbere hayo ngo umutambye gihe cyose nsabira imbabazi nsabira imbabazi nsabiza nje nsabiza abantu bose hari ejo numva umwuka umwuka w'uburakari bw'ubumana bazaba kuko iyo umuntu musabira imbabazi agira ngo ngungurizo bazoba agira ngo ntambara gufite birigo bajya muri leta kundeka nangire ga leta ndayizi ubwiye ngo nyigiye mu nge banyima audience nange nibayinye kandi leta ni yacu twese eh ta urusha ubundi burenganzira muri igihugu aho bajya nange nahaje kandi nyembagiye nabatsinda 
kuko nje ndo munyakuri kubasunga suko leta ya ndengera oya nuko yasanga ndo munyakuri gitwaza mwene kajabika sinzaniye singirira ati gibintu ngo ndarikira never wansanga mu bindi byenda ndo umuntu ari kwifaranga ikitari cyane imana yarakimbuje na data data nicyo yambiye cyambere aramwe ngo fuza fata ikitari cya wala ayo na mapadere umuntu agira mbere y'ubukristo naho kuzana ubukristo mbere ukayakishakisha biravuna biravuna ama valera tangira mu mugipagani kuja kuyashakisha umaze gukizwa ni delivrance ni brise mani ni terasse mani ekrase ma kugira ngo uzave mu muntu ibyo biragoye ama valera tangira mbere yuko kizwa kugira ngo ba data na basogukuru bari bakijijwe bamwe no bari inyanga mugayo muzabaze baso muzabaze basogukuru ki bari bazi kwiba no kubesha anunavuki murenge kuva rurambo ukageza ukageza minembwe umuburebure araresha no Rwanda iyo umuntu yibaga twese twararaga tubimenye umwe kandi famiye akabura umugeni twese tukabimenya ngo haru wibs twari tubizi byo ariko kubera inzara nibinda abantu batangiye gushinda guri kare gusiko byari cyangwa kubesha never muve rero bavandi Tito aba Kristo gusa tube ni nyanga muga Zain tem reka do produce abantu binyanga muga bavuga ukuri nubwo kwa bicyo Bemera gusonza aho kwiba Ewa ukemera ugasonza igitaka ukagikarango ukagishira ari ukakirya ukaba ngo mana ndi igitaka guko nanze kubeshya hanyuma imana yibone iri mwijuru ushiri gitaka muri esto erege imana yakira haba yibonye wageza aho hano igukorera ibitanga ariko icyambere no kubinyanga mugayo mu buzima imana idufashe tubinyanga mugayo imana idufashe tubabakozi bayo kandi amaherezo y'ibi byose muzabimenya muzabona ukuri kuko bibiliya bango tuzamenya ibintu kumbuto zibyo mwicare gusa mube muba aba spectateur beza na nabazi gukanura nzikwibyo pa mubizi gucunga detaye yamaherezo ibyo byo simbibigisha sinubu Kristo ibyo ngibyo benshi ntawe nabidushinza ariko turabizi none umukanure cyane mureba amaherezo yabo kuri na amaherezo yabo binyo le temps l'avenir va démontrer la vérité et la vérité finira par triomphe ukuri kuzarangiza gutsi okay kanigendere mu ijambo to mane ijambo ngiye kwigisha uri ho mugisha nange umpo mugisha god bless abantu kandi ifashe imitima yacu mu izina rya Amen. God bless the word that I'm about to teach and bless me who's going to speak to your people that shall be a blessing to them in Jesus name. Abachamanzi bice bibiri mu rongo wa mbere kugeza ku murongo wa gatano. Judges chapter 2 verse 1 to 5. Bibiri yatubwira ngo hanyuma maraka uwiteka afigira ugali ajibokimu. Arababwira ati nabavanye muri Egiputa mbazana mu gihugu na sezeranyije baso gukuruza nkababwira ati ntabwo nzaca kwisezerano nabasezeranishe namwe nti timugasezerane nabe nico gihugu ahubwo muzasenya ibicaniro bya ariko nti mwanyumviye niki cyatubye mukora mu cyo nange nico gituma mvuga ndi sinzabirukana imbere yayo ahubwo bazababera nkamaho ahanda mu mbavu kandi imana zabo zizababera umutego marayika witeka amaze kubwira abisiraeli bose ayo magabo abantu batera hejuru namajwi arenga bararira aho hantu bahita ibokimu batakambira yo uwitambira yuwiteka ibitambo 
Then the angel of the Lord came up from Gilgal to Boshim and said, I laid you up from Egypt and brought you to the land of which I swore to your fathers. And I said, I'll never break my covenant with you. And you shall make no covenant with the inhabitants of this land. You shall tear down their altars. But you have not obeyed my voice. Why have you done this? Therefore I, ha I also said, I will not drive them out before you, but there shall be thorns in your side, and their God shall be a snare to you. So it was when the angel of the Lord spoke these words to all the children of Israel, that the people lifted up their voices and wept. Then they called the name of that place Boshem, and they sacrificed there to the Lord. There is a journey the angel of the Lord took from Gilgal to Boshim. And there is a reason behind that journey. From Gilgal to Boshim, it's a long journey. Boshim is near Shiloh. Those who have learned the Bible or you see the maps in the Bible, it is in the country of Ephraim. Right now it is in the Palestinian territory. In Lamara. That is now that is the place which was called Boshim. So the angel started a journey. Because certain things happened in the Israelites. Why the angel of the Lord came to them? Because the angel started with them from the beginning. So the angel of the Lord continuously monitored how Israel conducted themselves. The life of the Israelites required someone to be strict. Some people do not know how to be disciplined and you have to be strict on them. You, when you are being watched, you do what you're supposed to do. When you're not being watched, you do whatever you need. So such people require strict more observation for them to follow the rules. The Bible says he left Gilgo and went Boshim. And he gathered the Israelites and spoke to them. He said, I brought you from Egypt. These are the facts that show that he's the one who brought them from Egypt. In Exodus chapter 3, verse 1, you continue. Continue. The Bible says that Moses was tending the flock of the father in law Jethro. He saw a thorny bush that was burning. But it was not getting scorched. Then Moses wanted to find out what was happening. In that burning bush, a voice came out. And it was the angel of the Lord. And he said to Moses, Take off your sandals for where you stand is holy ground. Then when the angel said that, Moses took off his sandals. And just the angel of the Lord spoke to him from his heart. Why didn't the angel appear in a normal bush that's not thorny? It's because the mission the angel was sending Moses to was to get the Israelites from the thornness or from their depression that they were being faced in Egypt before Pharaoh. You see the thorns in the roses. The roses you see, they always thorny. When you take a rose out, you make sure the, the thorn doesn't hurt you. That is how the bride of Christ is. That is how Israel was. Israel is beautiful like a rose. But the environment they dwell in is thorny. They, they are beautiful, but their environment is thorny. 
bwa buzima turimo ngo numvise kurira kwabana banje numvise gutaka kwabo niyo mpamvu naguhamagaye kugira ngo uje kubacungura so when God comes to us, he comes in the form of the depression and the lifestyles we are living in. And he said, I have heard your cry and I have come to redeem you. God always conforms himself to the places and the times we are going through. When Solomon was writing songs of songs, he was a youth. He, he didn't have any gray hair like me. A handsome young man. When he looked at Jesus, he was seeing Jesus and in his glory he said his hair is like the fur or the feathers of of a raven. It was very dark hair. When God was revealing himself to Job, in Job 38, the Bible says, God came in a, came in a wheel, wheel, wheel. He came in that form. It was evident of the time Job was going through a lot of turbulence, so he came in a whirlwind so that it is evident of his lifestyle at the moment. When God was talking to Nahum, he was above the, the storms and the clouds. Because Israel had lost their spiritual equilibrium. When God was talking to John on the, on the island of Patmos when he was old. He was, his hair looked like the wool of a sheep. He was all white. Because John was very old. And Jesus came in the form of an old man. He came to Solomon as a young man. Daniel was old in Babylon. He came and said that you're the ancient of days. Every time God is coming to approach you or reveal himself to you, he will come in the form and the situation you're going through, good or bad. So the angel of the Lord revealed himself to Moses and told him his role and what he needs to to get the Israelites from Egypt to Canaan. When they reached the wilderness, in Exodus 23, from verse 20, the Bible says, I'll give you my angel. He will take you to the land of the Hevites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, and the Canaanites. He will guide you. But, but be careful not to break the covenant. This is the angel of the covenant. The same angel Moses met. Moses met that angel and he was the angel of the calling or mission and he gave him a mission when they reached the wilderness he became the angel of the covenant he signed the covenant with the Israelites when Moses died Joshua after crossing the Jordan when they reached in the valley of Jericho they call it, they call it the place of Gilgal. That is where all the young men were circumcised that were not able to do it in the wilderness. And all those men who formed the army, they were meant to fight at Jericho. After they were circumcised, they waited for them to heal. 
The Bible says that day. The Bible says God has, the Bible says that Joshua said he has taken away the disgrace that you had in Egypt. So the Israelites were joyful. They started to have the event or celebrate the Passover. The man has stopped. In that plane they were encountered. Joshua went near the city of Jericho. When he was near, near the gates, that is in Joshua 5, on verse 14, then he saw before there was a man with a sword. Joshua was ready to fight him because he too was an army man in the army of Israel. He was the commander. When Joshua was about to approach him, are you of us or you are of our adversaries? This is what he told him. He said, I have come now to become the commander of the armies of God. Israel was the armies of God. The Bible, the Bible says the moment they left Egypt, they mentioned it is the armies of God leaving Egypt. Then Joshua, he was the commander of the armies of Israel. But the other angel that met Moses, the one who signed a covenant with Moses and the Israelites in the wilderness, the angel who enabled them to cross over to Canaan, he has changed his role. The first role was bringing a mission for Moses. The second role he was bringing a covenant for Israelites to sign with God so that their greatness can come from God. The third responsibility when they approached each other Joshua said so what do I do? He told him the same word he told to Moses. Take off your sandals for the ground you stand is holy. Confess your sins. Humble yourself. And Joshua did that. After that, they went and overcame Jericho. That place is Gilgal. The next day he continued to work. They took over Ai. They took over many cities. After a while, Joshua died. But he had already divided the nation, the, the nation of his, the Israelites into their lots. But they had not sent out all their enemies from that. So those who had lived with Joshua and Joshua himself they had taught the Israelites to keep the covenant they had signed in the wilderness. One thing they did was to teach them not to pray to the gods and idols of Canaan. The second thing is not to sign covenants with the people in Canaan because they would become a snare to them. So when Joshua was leaving, when he was living in the nation of Canaan. All those people that those people served God. That that generation of Joshua died. Another generation arose after them. So those young ones when they grew up the Bible says they never knew God nor the works he, the, he did for their fathers so when these young men grew up they found the Jebusites as neighbors they found that their relatives were with the Amorites as neighbors they found themselves with per per Perizzites young men 
they were civilized they would go through the Philistines let's go to the Amorites this evening they forgot that they were set apart and special they forgot that they, every single journey they were on they had an angel to enable them to reach the purpose of God they forgot that their fathers ate manna from heaven that no one had eaten before they never understood or remembered that in history they were the first people that crossed the sea without a bridge or a ship they never understood or remembered that they crossed the Jordan when it was full they did not even remember the memorial of the 12 stones from the Jordan that had been put in Gilgal when you talk about God, they would say that's for our fathers. It's old fashioned. We are civilized. We don't need to do what our forefathers did. They forgot another generation arose that never knew the work of God that he did in Egypt so they, they were so liberal in them so they went down they go to the Philistines they go home with a Philistine woman to, tomorrow the, 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 the Israelite woman gets married to an Amorite they start to pray to Baal they do different customs and traditions of Satan things change so people couldn't differentiate Israelites and other tribes these things that made the fathers and the, fa the forefathers to sweat to achieve the fathers humbled themselves all these years to honor God. They, they were preparing for the, an environment that their children would grow in that would honor God. They would they had been given a promise that they would be above all nations and those nations surrounding them will always be jealous of them but they will overcome them mm. God told them as they were signing a covenant in the wilderness when you arrive in the promised land no woman of yours will be barren or have a miscarriage no one will die young you read it in Exodus 23 20 if you, con if you continue the, com the, the covenant of promises the Lord had given them but one morning in Israel they mixed blood their brothers, their aunties and their uncles who are in the Philistines they were intermarried you lose the promises God has given you or had with you because of the short lived profit you want from the world because you signed covenants with people that are not acceptable to God you lose your entire strength so this generation grows without knowing God they never understood the great work God did every, mm. every time you lose God in the spirit the devil, the devil will come and take over because you will never lose someone in the spirit someone has to take over either no bwimana cyangwa nubwa satani 
Every time you lose your communion, your fellowship with God, the devil, all the things of the devil will come and take over from you because you have to have communion with something naturally. It happens in the spirit. We have a big place in our hearts to take on God and have a relationship with him. So when we do not have a relationship with him, the devil will come and sit in that same void. After Joshua died and the generation that he was with, so the Israelites served Baal. They did what was wicked before God. They served the Baals. They, they also served the female gods called Ashpelter. In the cities of the Israelites, they find all kinds of people that serve or pray to God. So the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, now is forgotten in history. In the families of Israel, Israel, Baal was exalted. Asherah was exalted. No one spoke of God. All of them were going in sorcery. They went to they intermarried with foreign women. God looked at the work he did and he was amazed. There was no man he could raise. There was no woman to raise. All of them were worshipping idols. The Bible says that same place where the angel met Joshua before they attacked Jericho. This is almost eight years later. Joshua has died. Things are difficult. A new generation worshipping idols here. This is what the Bible is saying. Then, the angel of the Lord came from Gilgal to Boshim. The same place where he met Joshua. He was the eye of the almighty God in Israel. He was the eye of the eternal God in Israel. The day you got to know the almighty God. That place. That you met the angel. Even now. He has that eye on your life. He's seeing what you go through. He's seeing where you're going. When you're signing covenants with foreigners. He moves aside. Because he wants to do something in your life. The angel of the Lord. Has a specific mission in your life. He has a work he's been commanded to do. He will move a step from there. When your mission is done, the battle you're in, the life you're in, you're not alone. There's the angel of the Lord. The angel of the Lord. He walks with you. He sleeps with you. He walks with you. And he feeds with you. Even if you don't see him, but you know him. The angel always moves aside from Gilgal where he last met Joshua where Joshua asked for forgiveness where he removed his sandals the Bible says remember where you came from and fell remember where you came from and fell from your first love remember 
remember Gilgal. Where you encountered Jesus. Where you received power. Where you overcame the battle. The angel of the Lord was the angel of battle. He came with the military strategy. The day we defeated the power of darkness is the day you never forget. Because Jesus opened the door. Satan is defeated and his demons in your life. The power of God comes in our lives. The beautiful day I remember is the day I accepted you. In Gilgal, that is where the angels say, Take off your sandals. But after many years, after people forgot the cross, they forgot the power, they forgot the victory, they forgot the greatness, they turned to the world and went to the idols, they went to lies, they went to words, they intermarried with foreign they forgot Gilgal, they God circumcised their eyes, they forgot the cross, where Jesus moved them from the power of darkness. They forgot the miracles where God was made them born Hallelujah. 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 You they forgot the great work of God so the angel left Gilgal God is telling you you have forgotten your first love go back to your first love see where you came from and how you came come back in the power of God come back in the miracles of God come back to the glory of God come back in the greatness of God Come back in the compassion of God. Come back in the fear of God. Come back in the courts of God. Come back to the altar of God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh. Harijam Mugiburayo Vita Tiffania. There is a word in Hebrew called Tiffania. It means an angel or God taking on the image of man. Because there was no man in that time. Everyone was doing their own thing. Everyone was caring about the angel. So the angel of Gilgal, the commander of the armies of God, he changed his mission and became an evangelist. He became an evangelist. He started, he was giving a calling to Moses. He continued and signed covenants with people and God. He continued, he became the commander of the armies of God. Now today, he is an evangelist. He is an evangelist. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he went to Boshem. Boshem is in the north of Israel. And Jericho is in the south. Towards the Salt Sea. So in those parts of Gilgal, the angel went in the form of man and he held a great conference called all the Israelites together. That angel met Moses by himself. He met the tribe of Israel in the wilderness and then met Joshua alone. Now he's going to do an evangelical campaign among the Israelites. So he calls them together. They came they didn't know who he was he had taken on the form of man because there was no man among them who could have a conscience to say why are we doing what we are doing we are a special nation why do we have to be despising ourselves in these things brethren this is how bad sin can be 
Sin is, makes you eat dirt when you're a man of honor. This is how I was before I became a preacher. It was hard for me to share from this. Before I became an evangelist, I would not easily share on the same cup as a colleague or someone else. Do you hear me? That is how I was. When you get married, you find yourself needing to share with your wife on the same cup, on the same spoon. That is how you show affection to each other. That has always been hard for me. Good. That what happened. So sin degrades a person. What amazed the angels in heaven is when Jesus came to the earth. They looked through the windows to understand what salvation was. For Jesus to come to the earth, he went down some staircases. And normally, you should be elevating yourself, yes, going up. Again, again, and Jesus was going down. He had just said, I was created in the form of man. And he spoke in a scroll and said, I'm going to do your will, Father. Yes, so Jesus came down. He saw that looking or being like God was not something for him to hold on to. That kind of mindset was to lower himself. Then, then he became like a born servant. He took away the godly garment and lowered himself. He took on the form of a servant. He wasn't just a simple servant of God. He took on the form of a servant. A, a, a yes, then he took another step down. And he accepted to die a scornful death. Because dying on the cross was a shameful death. The man who lived before called Socrates. Socrates. Mm. So Socrates was a wise man in the city of Athens who was proud and would move in the city saying, I am in search of the truth. Such a man was told to be hanged on the tree. He said, I can never die such a shameful death. And he committed suicide by taking acid. Jesus himself who was higher than Socrates, allowed to die a shameful death. When he reached the cross, he took on the sin of the world. The whole world, he took it on. The one who was never, who never knew sin became sin for all. So sin always degrades a person. There is no day it elevates anyone. Sin degrades. You lose your glory as you sin. Everyone who sins loses their standard and they are degraded. They all fell. They all lost their glory. Do you hear me? So the Israelites, they were a nation that had a high standard. 
The other nations feared them. Mm. Mm. When people when people fear you and you come and get so used to them they will start to disrespect you they will also start to understand your weaknesses even a foolish man when they keep their respect and position you might think they are wise you have the God in you. When we find the Israelites, they were a tribe that was set aside to be above all the others. But the moment they lowered themselves, they got used to the other nations. They never attained the position they were meant to have. The great work the Lord had done was known among the nations. They had crossed the Red Sea. They had, they, they had crossed the Jordan. God had given them manna from heaven. That had set them apart as a nation. However, when they intermarried and became used to the other nations, they never kept their glory. So you will have the same level of glory or the proportion of God in you is the same glory you will attain from people. So this is what happened. The angel called them together. He was amazed. They were intermarried and had children with foreigners. This is what I think. Mm. I imagine in that moment when the angel was saying hallelujah, they, had, they didn't have an idea what to say. They probably say, how are you today? Because that was godly vocabulary that they had long forgotten. Together they came to the crusade with Moabites, the Moabs, and the Amorites coming to listen to the angel of God. So the angel said these words. I brought you from Egypt. I brought you here. And brought you to this nation. And I did a covenant with you. Me. I will not break the covenant we had together. But you. You have broken it. Now what I'll do. All the nations surrounding you will become thorns to you until you take off the sandals like in the time of Moses in that time 
you will be the thorns will be a pain in your in your body you have problems that will make you come and search for God again. you Israelites you have sinned they all wept they sacrificed sacrifices of forgiveness because of the crying and the tears they had there they called it Boshem what does it mean? it means weeping and needing mercy so where did the angel come from? from Gilgal where they were circumcised and their hearts got to know Jesus in Boshim is where a person asks for forgiveness if they have broken the covenant so the journey of Gilgal and Boshim when you got to know Jesus and when you got out of Jesus but then you ask for forgiveness that is the journey from Gilgal to Bokim. Boshim is a place you ask for forgiveness in Gilgal is where you get saved from let me say this in Gilgal is at the cross in Boshim is in the blood of Jesus where we were washed again where we are forgiven where we go back to God this doesn't mean those who are not saved it means those who are once in Gilgal and they finish in Boshim today servants of God I ask you to ask for forgiveness we are in Boshim today let's ask God to forgive us let's say God I want to go back in your work I want to go back to your altar I want to go back in your way bring back my first joy forgive me all my sins all the covenants that I did with the foreigners and the Canaanites forgive me Jesus then we will be forgiven today you will go home delivered with full of joy may the Lord bless you kindly stand for prayer we know so Let's right now see where we came from and backslid. Take, see what has taken away the zeal in you. The spirit that was in you. The zeal that was in you. That thing that make you backslide. Ask God to forgive you. Let's pray. Let's pray. 
buri muna bwira imana mu mutima wawe niba ari cyo gusubisha inyuma niba ari cyo kurwanyije icyatumye wibagirwa igirugari what made you forget your girgal uyu musu hawe amahirwe ibokim you, you've been given an opportunity to go to bushim wongere kandi again usigwe may you be anointed Amara again the blood of Jesus wash you let's go back to his grace mana tushimbere yawe muri uyu mwanya dusaba imbabazi gutubabarire data turabanye ndege turabanya bzaha ibyo twakoze bitagushimishije ibyo twabaye mu mwami byose bitaguye cyicubahiro turagusaba data ngo wigaragaze turagusaba ngo data muri uyu mwanya ibintu byose ibyo twavuze ibyo twakoze ibyo twa bitaguye cyicubahiro ndagusaba ngo tubabarire papa tubabarire mana tubabarire muka wera uyu mwanya tuje imbere yawe turi bokimo aho tuhawa mahirwe na malaika wawe yongera kutagura nzira turaje duciye bugufi muri iki kibaya chamarira ibokimu mwami turagutakambiye turagusaba imbabazi abagore abagabo abakuru abato abana turaje mana ibitekerezo byacu bibi ubwenge bwacu buke mana kutakumenya mana kutakumenya tubabarire Yesu babarira babarira ubwako bwawe babarira mwami toro ryawe babarira mwami gihugu cyawe babarira mwami abantu bo abadukurikira mwami no kuri radio no kuri mudasobwa no kuri television kuri facebook turasaba imbabazi kuri youtube tubabarire data tubabarire mwa tubabarire nyakubahwa tuje imbere yawe baba tubabarire yesu duciye bugufi imbere yawe tugusaba imbabazi tugirire neza yesu tugirire neza data tubabarire data tubabarire nyakubahwa mana tuje imbere yawe namarira menshi ibo kimo aho israel yasaba imbabazi ikababarirwa ndagusaba natwe ngo tubabarire maraika uwiteka watugendere uyu munsi none turi hanye none turasaba imbabazi kongeye gusubira mwami kongeye gusubira mwami ibokim aho tugiye gutambira ibitambo ibitambo z'ibyaha ibitambo byo kwicuza ibitambo biguhumurira neza ongera utwemere Come close to us Lord. Onger utwambike. Come and dress us. Onger utugirira neza dada. Yes, us, oh God. Yes. Jesus. Turagushima. We thank you. Urakoze kubikoze. Thank you for doing it. Mu izina ryawe. Ni cyumuka wera. And in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amahoro yima. The peace of God. The blessing of God. The miracles of God. Ibitangaza by'ima. The miracles of God. Bibane namwe. Ni iteka ryose. Now and forever. Mu izina rya Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Tuzabona na kwa kabiri. We we'll see you on Tuesday. Karibu. Welcome. Amen. Amen. Mutahane no mwami Yesu. Go with the Lord Jesus. Yesu na bahi bazwe. Isi na tejo tezwe. Yanyo deshe jamara. Yesu ke sahi basbe Yesu mani Yesu na mahi izina izina ke jone se ya no ke she jamara so Yesu Yesu mahi Yesu mani Oh yeah.